In Creo 9.0, Creo ANSYS now supports automatic shell pair detection using mid-surface geometry. In addition, automatic contact detection will connect all the shell pairs. Now within Creo ANSYS, a mixed mesh containing shells, beams, and solids is now supported. Let's start with a simple T-joint model and show the workflow. Let's first constrain the bottom plate and then add a force at the top. Now let's use the new automatic shell pair detection. We need to specify the scope of parts to use and then provide a minimum thickness and then click OK and we have our shell pairs. To verify, we can use review geometry and see the shells. Next, let's connect the shells with contact. We then can verify that the contact is created and in the correct location. The review geometry helps us to see this. We could then preview the mesh if desired. I click on Generate Mesh and then click on Display Mesh. I'm ready to solve, so I click on Run. I get a small warning that I can ignore because I understand that the load is applied on an edge that is compressed. Looking at results, we see everything looks great, taking a look at stress and then displacement. Let's use this same workflow on a more complicated structure. Here we have a tower. Let's first apply a fixed area on the bottom and then apply a load near the top of the tower. For the load force, let's select these two surfaces and use a value of 1,000 pounds. The next step is automatic shell pair detection. We can enter 0.5 as a thickness, and in this case, we'll get 28 shell pairs. The next step after this is detecting contacts, and after this we'll get many new contacts added to the model. Both the contacts and the shell pairs are added to the model tree. Verify with review geometry, and then we can click Run to solve. Looking at a few results, we can see the workflow is successful here on this larger assembly. Now in Creo ANSYS, we have a very fast solution with shell elements and more flexibility with mixed mesh simulations.